All right, chaps. All right, so. So his first new attack is a, um, spoiler warning, by the way, for the new film, but it's the, uh, how he kills Scylla. So you, you obliterate them, basically, look, like that. Oh dear, bro went quite far. Alright, so that's the first new attack, and then... There's two, like, thermo stages. You've got the blue one, and you've got the orange one. To get the blue one, you have to get your rage above 1,500. So when you get to 1,500, it's like pulsing. And then once you hit 3,500, it's like, it's the solid color. And with that, it replaces your beam for the, um, the EMP pulse, which does a fair amount of damage. And then from there, you can either stay as this, as long as you don't use your ultimate, or you can press space, and that will turn you, in, turn you into the, um, classic thermo. There we are. Epic. And, um, with that, you have three, so there's the, um, what's it actually called? I don't know. The one where you run on top of them is replaced with a buff that increases the distance of the passive attack, which is like when you go past buildings and stuff, they just melt. So that's a buff for that. And then your A2 is the same. I believe your A1 is the same. Yeah, the A1 is the same. But your beam gets replaced with a small pulse, just like the MP one. And then your A4, which is the stomp, gets replaced with a grab pulse. Which has just sent him flying. And then um, your ultimate is replaced with the classic pulse. Which I need to give myself more rage for. Here we go. Which does 250 damage. Which is pretty good if you ask me. And yeah, I think... I think that's everything to be honest with you, meat. I don't... I don't think I've missed anything. I'll just show you the attacks one more time. So you have small pulse. You have grab pulse. And you have um buff and then you have the uh, ultimate pulse. But, um, yeah. That's thermonuclear Godzilla. Goodbye, chaps. Hmm?